certainly chilling to hear this. It's, it's just so awful, beyond awful. And just rapid fire gunshots. We have some sound from the scanner traffic after our hero. Sergeant Helis. Yeah, he this went is in. from the CHP. The officer down. Advise if it's CHP at the borderline. Officer down. I've only seen one shooter. Unknown if I hit him. One, nine hundred fifty one, four seven three is down and unresponsive at the south entrance. Sam three down and unresponsive. The south entrance. Thirteen people are dead, including the suspect and a sheriff's sergeant after a mass shooting at a Southern California bar. This was the borderline bar uh, out in Ventura County, just out on the 101 freeway, about 40 miles west of where I am here in Los Angeles. It was college night at this bar, and as you said, at least 13 people are dead, including the shooter, and authorities have just announced uh, that one of the dead is a police sergeant, a 29-year veteran, Sergeant Ron Helius. Uh, absolutely terrifying scenes. It started at about 11.45 p.m. local time. Uh, the scene is now being investigated. Police were able to subdue the gunman uh, fairly quickly. We understand from eyewitnesses the gunman opening fire uh, right away inside that sort of music venue. Uh, a Wednesday night uh, in this part of the country and sort of just north of Malibu is not like a Wednesday night in other parts of the country. This was packed, this bar full of college kids, hundreds of college kids. Uh, scenes of horror as they sort of streamed Mika out the windows and doors of this club. It's something uh, that we've seen in this country too many times. In fact, uh, many of the eyewitnesses saying they knew uh, exactly what to do uh, in the chance of a mass shooting. I got stuck with a few of my friends uh, behind the, I can't talk right now, behind the DJ booth. Yeah. I'm fine. I'm, I'm actually okay. a Navy veteran. I've been caught in situations like this before, but of course nothing can ever prepare you for something like this. Um, I had a few people with me next to the DJ booth yeah. and we heard, we heard some shots fire. It sounded just like whatever it would be, like like fireworks, and um, they, we just dropped to the ground. We heard a lot of screaming. My friend's the DJ, so she cut off the music, and then um, and we just heard lots of mayhem. Like, so we uh, the first instinct I thought of was to break the window. I grabbed whatever stool, made sure it was clear first. Grabbed the stool, broke the window, and we jumped out. And got got caught a little bit but because you didn't want to go through the front door no, that wasn't that was not the correct avenue to take yeah um, that's interesting that you know the DJ there were all these witnesses are telling us that there were smoke bombs they felt uh, that were going off and that's not something this DJ normally uses so I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a untrained eyes and ears that's that's probably what they heard um, I know when a pistol is being fired and, and no. I heard it um, the best thing to do was to stay calm and make sure people were getting down and out of harm's way. Um, it was just not a good spot for us, so we did what we could and looked, took the, the best avenue of approach at that point. I, I heard about the guy who shattered the window with the, so now we know. There's a bunch of us, oh, okay, actually. Okay. There's quite a few people in. Other people I understand, yeah. I understand, I mean, in the, in the frantic movement, everyone was doing that, but um, the biggest thing is just to be safe and out of harm's way. Fired at the borderline bar and grill here in Thousand Oaks. As our first deputies arrived on scene, they also heard shots fired. Our deputies have been searching the area. It's an active scene, as you can see behind me. We can confirm that there are several people that have been injured inside the, uh, the bar and grill, including one uh, deputy sheriff that was transported. I can't tell you the condition of either the deputy or those that are injured inside. Uh, I can tell you Wednesday night um, I was with my friend Matt and we were talking to some people I had a clear line of sight of the bar or, and of the uh, front desk where the shooter entered um, looked like just another guy coming in I didn't really focus too much attention on him um, just saw him out of the corner of my eye he raised his arm uh, the first shot went off I thought it was just somebody playing a prank with an M80 but immediately I looked at him and he continued shooting we just heard a bunch of gunshots like maybe five or six gunshots and we all kind of looked around and then people started piling on top of each other getting low to the ground and we didn't know what was going on and then we heard more gunshots and then these incredible humans just jumped up and started smashing out the windows and everybody was just like jump because we were trapped it was a normal wednesday we were at the bar you know having fun dancing 
and then all of a sudden you hear like the the bang bang of the gunshot and it just started going crazy and people were pushing we thought it was a joke we didn't we didn't take it seriously at first it's kind of like you freeze because it sounded like firecrackers and you kind of just like everyone just dropped down to the floor and then um, I thought it was a joke, and we couldn't get out the because ground. the shooting was on that side. So then our friends got the bar stools and they started sending it the window so we could get out. It's okay, darling. It's okay. That's how we were able to get out. They broke the window. The Ventura Police Department and additional officers from the Highway Patrol. They made entry into the borderline bar and grill. They found 11 victims that had been killed. Make it, that it's a horrific incident. It's part of the horrors that are happening in, in our country and everywhere. And I think it's impossible to put any logic or any sense to the senseless. Ron was a hardworking, dedicated sheriff sergeant. He was totally committed. He gave his all. And tonight, as I told his wife, he died a hero because he went. <clears throat> He went in to save lives, to save other people. So, Sergeant Helis was having a conversation with his wife on the phone, as he does several times during the shift, and said to her, hey, I got to go handle the call. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Did the gunman say anything to any of the victims? How much time expired from the first shot? Not, not, not as far as we know at this point. He well, could we've had several contacts with Mr. Long over the years, minor events such as a traffic collision, he was a victim of a battery at a local bar in 2015. In April of this year, deputies were called to his house uh, for a subject disturbing. They went to the house, they talked to him. Uh, he, was, he was somewhat irate, acting a, a little irrationally. They called out our crisis intervention team, our mental health specialist who met with him, talked to him, and cleared him, didn't feel that he was qualified to be taken under 5150 and he was left at that scene last April. Appears he walked up to the scene, he shot the security guard that was standing outside, he stepped inside, it appears he turned to the right and shot several of the other security and employees there and then began opening fire inside
the line of people waiting to get blood here in Thousand Oaks. There are hundreds of them just lined up, taking up a complete sit block, waiting to give their blood to help those who were injured in the mass shooting. There are so many people here. The blood taken here, donated here in Thousand Oaks, will likely save lives throughout the Southland, maybe throughout the country. It is just amazing. People have been dropping off water, oranges, cookies. These folks will have hours to wait before they can donate the gift of life. killed last night. Tell us his name. His name was Cody Kaufman. My firstborn son. <sighs> Only him and I know how much I love. How much I miss. Oh God, this is so bad. Oh son, I love you so much. Oh Heavenly Father, just please. What would you like to know about Cody? Oh, Cody? Cody was the big brother that my kids need. I have a daughter coming on the 29th of this month that he was so excited to have his first sister and not uh, n now they'll n she'll never know. Oh. oh, Cody, I love you, son.